Hello everybody, Luke Schulte, Field of Grounds for Beck Tybridge. It's getting to be about that time of the year for those who did have the opportunity to plant corn three and four weeks ago to start thinking about making those post-emerge herbicide decisions. Now for those of you who just planted recently or, or you haven't even planted yet, just table this information for later use. But for those of you that did get a chance to plant three and four weeks ago, corn's starting to reach that V3 like the corn behind me or even four leaf V4 growth stage. It's time to make those decisions and thinking about getting those corn acres cleaned up, whether they be escapes or in a two-pass acre. Now, as many of you know, quite a few of the herbicide traits that we have or corn traits that we have on the market today carry tolerance to glyphosate. Quite a few carry tolerance to Liberty. Some even carry tolerance to both. But just because these two broad spectrum herbicides like glyphosate and Liberty are familiar to us and afford us many conveniences, just because we're comfortable spraying them, does that really mean they're still the best product given our situation? When we look at glyphosate, We've all seen over the years, the continual use of it has really diminished its effectiveness on a lot of our broadleaf weeds out there. It's still a very good grass killer, and it's still highly effective on some broadleafs like velvety. But when it comes to water hemp, mare's tail, even giant ragweed control, glyphosate's not much of a factor. On the contrary, Liberty's highly effective on a lot of the weeds that, that glyphosate's not very effective on, like giant ragweed, mare's tail, water hemp, et cetera. However, just because Liberty would be convenient we could overlap into those enlist acres just because we wouldn't have to rinse out going from corn to soybeans does that really mean it's still the best choice given our situation so a couple of things to consider especially if you'd prefer to use glufosinate or liberty in your post-emerge corn situation number one is all your corn in fact tolerant to liberty as you can see from the chart in front of you many of the herbicide traits do carry tolerance to liberty but there's quite a few like V2P products that we use quite a few of, like 5794 V2P, 6374 V2P, that don't carry tolerance to Liberty. Even the Duracade products, dependent on the refuge component we use, may or may not be tolerant to Liberty. So it's really important that you check that seed tag before you do post spray that with Liberty. But the real reason I would encourage you to look at alternative herbicides to Liberty for broadleaf wheat control and corn is because of how Liberty works. Liberty is a contact herbicide, so coverage is really, really key and critical to its performance, as opposed to systemic herbicides like Status or Sting or Callisto, whereas coverage isn't nearly as critical. And unfortunately, when we look at comparing spraying Liberty in corn versus soybeans, those corn leaves do a lot to distort that pattern and our ability to get all those spray droplets clear down to the surface of the weed and get good, consistent weed control with Liberty and corn as opposed to soybeans. And for that reason, I believe we have a lot of other options out there that are gonna be more effective and more consistent. In many cases, it's because they're systemic herbicides. You can see either in front of you or embedded in this video, there's a link of a sheet we put together that really details the effectiveness of many of our different post-emerge corn herbicides on specific weeds or your weed spectrum. Not only that, but we've also listed, when do we need to stop spraying them? Or what is the cutoff time? And then last thing we need to consider if we're thinking about spraying Liberty and corn is just its long-term viability. As we've seen in glyphosate, the continual use in our primary crops, corn and soybeans, will diminish the long-term effectiveness of Liberty altogether. So just some things to consider as you're starting to make those post-emerge decisions to not only get good wheat control this season, but also to preserve herbicide efficacy in the future. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call.